All right, welcome back. Uh, I think this is episode five, converting a uh, E-Flight Viper Jet 90 millimeter to turbine. Um, last night we uh, glued in the engine mounts. They're all dry, everything looks really good and solid. Glued in this uh, close out here where the uh, speed controller was. And uh, tonight we're gonna mount the engine and tailpipe. Uh, uh, the ring to mount the tailpipe in the aft, and then we're going to do the receiver shelf. All right, so um, when you order a completion or a conversion kit, you're going to get a nice little uh, ring here, all um, laser jet cut, or, and uh, fits really good. Um, I like to uh, paint it flat black before I do anything. Um, to locate this, um, I'm just gonna slide the pipe on and we got a, a little notch in there that's gonna clear the uh, rivet. And if you put that notch in about the right spot, it's gonna make uh, putting the pipe in and out a lot easier. So I'm just gonna put the pipe in and as you can see where the rivet is, I, I put like a little black mark down there and that's how we're gonna orientate the, um, the ring. The ring fits really good. Um, I'm not even going to glue it in now. When I'm done, I'm just going to run a uh, thin layer of CA around the back here, and it's going to be fine. So it just pretty much snaps in right up against their plastic piece. And uh, that's it. You know, my notch is lined up with the uh, mark. Everything is going to go good. I tell you what, I might as well just glue it in now. Boy, the pipe's not in my way. That's all I need. That's all you need. A little thin CA. It'll be just fine. Okay, so um, I like to locate kind of the pipe first, four and a half. Um, have it nice and even with the back of the model so uh, you know the pipe can shift around a little bit so I just make it nice and nice and even right there and I come up front here and I put in a couple little pencil marks and that's pretty much where the pipes gonna sit okay so now we're gonna go ahead and uh, locate the engine So I kind of mentioned yesterday on uh, how I like to locate the engine. These uh, the bolts here that hold the uh, exhaust nozzle onto the engine. I like it just right in line with them, right about like that. So once again, I put a couple pencil lines here on where we're gonna mount the engine. So let me get the tailpipe out of the way. Okay, so, you know, I, I do my best to locate the engine side to side. Um, I like to eyeball down on the uh, cutout here, which is in the middle of the middle, middle of the model in relationship of the exhaust nozzle and then center it up front. You know, my cut here, I'm not quite sure that that's gospel or anything. So that's four and a half, should be two and a quarter looks pretty good to me so I'm pretty much right on line with my uh, marks there so I'm just going to take a pencil And so, and I'm just gonna draw the four mounting holes. Okay, there we go. So now I'm gonna take a um, something to create like a little divot in them. I just use a drywall screw. 
And I'm gonna put with a little divot right in the middle of each one so the girl doesn't walk. Drill bit or so. Once everything's said and done, I'll uh, put a little thin CA in the uh, in the threads here and let it dry, and then that'll really stiffen up the uh, threaded holes in the plywood. Okay, so now we're gonna stick the pipe back in. And CA in those threads. Okay, the engine's mounted. So now I can very lightly tweak the uh, the tailpipe. Once again, I'm eyeballing on those screws right there. Looks pretty good. Looks good in the aft. Now I want to eyeball down the uh, the aft end of the tailpipe and make sure it's centered side to side. So what I'm looking for is um, you basically see the uh, end, the uh, outside diameter of the engine centered in the uh, centered with the cone. So uh, that looks pretty good to me. So I'm gonna hold it there. I'm not gonna move it. And I already pre-piloted these. Okay, I just shove that forward, and I really should take the engine back out because I want to enlarge those back uh, holes to a, uh, I don't know what size drill bit it is, it's about a .114, just slightly bigger than these sheet metal screws. Thank you. 
this way the uh, screw is perfectly centered in the uh, the hole in the uh, tabs here. I see no reason why this pipe has to come out again. Everything looks nice and centered. And we'll just pop a couple holes or screws in the engine. There we go. I'll give it one last look in the back. Everything looks good to me, nice and centered up. So tomorrow we're probably gonna glue the uh, bottom of the airplane back on. Um, one other little thing we're gonna do tonight is uh, the receiver shelf. Um, I got this uh, line, I like to, uh, Fasten the line to the UAT here before we do the receiver shelf. It's just a lot easier. Um, I kind of put a, a mark where I thought the cut should be. Everything looks good, so we're going to cut it. Now, you know, everybody's had their personal preference. You know, I've done it this way a lot. Then I've also done this a lot where you can loop it up like that. They they both work fine. It just said in this application, I think uh, it works just fine doing it this way. So we're gonna cut it. Okay. So I got a. I just like a safety wire or anything. So I I pre make up these little O twenty little safety wire loops. So I'm gonna just slide that on here. We're gonna make that easy. And uh, I use this stuff here, it's called Easy Turn Lubricant, I call it Fuel Lube. Uh, I'm in the aviation industry and we use it all the time. Anything that touches fuel. It's a great uh, anti-seize compound and uh, if you're working with like cork gaskets, I mean, it's like a perfect adhesive to hold your uh, cork gaskets in place while you position everything. And then um, I just take a tapered punch, wipe on a thin, thin film, thin film on the, uh, the little nipple there. And I insert this into the uh, tube that gets a little bit, a microscopic amount of uh, lubricant in the uh, tube. And it just makes everything slide onto these barbs so much easier. And there we go. Perfect. So now we're going to tighten up that safety wire. This will be there for the duration of the model. Okay. All right. 
So basically, fuel system's pretty much done, except hooking up the pump and the pump, and uh, we also got to uh, extend the vent, which we'll probably do tomorrow also. Um, so you're gonna get a um, got these laser cut also receiver shelf. That's gonna go just above the uh, the fuel filler for the uh, main tank. Let's see here, go like that. Okay, so you want to keep it above, above that the red fuel nipple there, you know, in case you ever do have to get it out because the tank is a permanent part of the model. And since the, uh, I like to use the uh, gyro stabilized receivers, I like to have this as level as possible, um, just the way I am, I, you know, to the axes of the aircraft. So what I do back here is I, I put a, a little bubble level back about there and then I try to center up the bubble sometimes it's easier said than done pretty close. So then I transfer the bubble level to the front of this thing here and level up my plywood. That's pretty close. I'm gonna go push it aft just a little bit. That's pretty good. in the ballpark. It's pretty darn close. So now I'll just uh, run some thin CA on here. And when that dries, I'm gonna put some blocking on top of this because on a gyro stabilized receiver you don't want it moving if that shelf moves or something during flight it's it's going to be bad so uh i'm going to add some blocking in through here after um this is dry so that's about all i got for tonight so tomorrow we'll extend the vent we're going to glue the bottom of the model on and uh, uh we might make a little pump mount here but uh this, this project's wrapping up pretty quick Okay, thanks for watching.